Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll walk you through how to set up the Unify access point without a Unify PoE switch. Instead, we'll use the PoE adapter that comes with the device. This is an excellent solution for small setups or situations where a PoE switch isn't available. Let's get started. The PoE adapter has two Ethernet ports. LAN connects to your router or network. PoE supplies power and network connectivity to your access point. Connect the Ethernet port on your Unify access point. Connect other end of Ethernet cable to the PoE port on the adapter. Take a second Ethernet cable and connect one end to the LAN port on the adapter. Connect the other end to a free LAN port on your router or switch. We are using Unify UDM Pro Router and it have built-in Unify controller. If you have any other router, then you can connect on it. Make sure you have Unify controller installed separately on your laptop to get access of your Unify devices. Open your laptop or PC and connect it to the same network as the Unify access point. Log in using your Unify account credentials, then click on network option. This is my UDM Pro dashboard. Go to Unify Devices option, so we can set up our access point. You'll see your Unify access point listed as a new device under the Devices section. Click the Adopt button to begin the configuration process. Wait for the device to adopt into your network. This process may take a few minutes. After adoption, go to the Settings tab and configure your wireless network. Set up your SSID, Wi-Fi network name, and password. If needed, assign VLANs or other advanced settings. Click Apply Settings to save your configuration. Once the setup is complete, disconnect your laptop from the wired network. Search for the newly created Wi-Fi network on your laptop or smartphone. Connect to the network using the password you set earlier. If everything is set up correctly, you should have internet access. You've successfully set up your Unify access point using a PoE adapter without the need for a PoE switch. This is a simple and efficient way to power and configure your device while maintaining excellent wireless performance. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.